long time no see. How are you guys? I am back. I'm so, so, so freaking sorry. I haven't made a video in probably a month. I just haven't, I don't know, I, th I took time off. I had two weeks away and I just have finally gotten back in the swing of things and it's really weird to be filming again. Um, so yeah, bear with me and I really hope you all enjoy that I'm back and if you didn't miss me, don't write down below that you didn't miss me because it'll make me sad. But today's video, I am going to do my Sydney IMATS haul. Um, I didn't get all that much at all, um, but there will be photos at the end of this video. And yeah, this is the Sydney IMATS band and I kept it. I didn't keep the bag because I had so much luggage. It was unbelievable because I bought so many new clothes and crap that really did not fit my IMATS bag in. But you've probably all seen the IMATS bags. But anyway, I'm rambling. So this is my IMATS video. Ta IMATS haulage video and there will be photos at the end and yeah I hope you enjoy this video guys so all of my haulage items are in this purple beauty case sort of thing and it's just the clear top and it's purple around the sides and I just want to say thank you to um, I think it's called friend f-r-e-n beauty supplies for giving me this um the guy we walked past the stand anyway the guy that was at the the stand he followed us right around to give me this this amazing um beauty case sort of thing it is so huge and anyways he gave it to me and he goes i thought you might like this because you like the color purple so yeah, that was really nice of him. And I just want to say thank you to whoever that was that gave me this beautiful beauty case. So, yes. So, that's number one. So, the first stand that I went to was, um, where was it? Like, we walked in and I was just, like, looking for everyone and seeing if I could see anyone. But the first stand that purchase that I made was at um, Naked Cosmetics and I got two stacks and that had a ma an amazing deal. It was like ooh, two for the fifty dollars I think it was where last year it was they were fifty dollars each or something. It was a weird price. But the one that I got the two stacks that I got are um, Tropical Indulge and it's just these really bright colours and they're really beautiful. I've taken the lids off, I took the lid off the um, all of them except the top one and twisted them on together so that's why the stack looks a little bit short. Um, it's just, yeah, because that's what you do, it's a stack. So I got Tropical Indulge and I got rainforest which is all these neutrally colors like there's a green and gold and coppery colors um like a khaki green and stuff i'll this will be a beautiful color for a natural tutorial so i got those and the guy at the naked cosmetics stand was a really really nice and he remembered me knew who i was so yay that was really cool and they were american and they come from america and yeah, I absolutely, absolutely love Naked Cosmetics eyeshadows. If you haven't tried them, go check them out. I'm a pro artist. I'm a member of the pro artist program as well. So yeah, that's really cool. And yeah, so those are the two stacks that I've got. And I can't wait to do some looks with these. I've already got two stacks already. But yeah. So I'm adding to my collection. I'm so excited. Um, and then the next place, I don't know where we went after that. I think we ran into people and we started talking. But the next thing I got 
given to me, which is really nice. Um, I think it's all called Nelly Cosmetics or something. But I think it was designer tools or something like that. And I was selling these beauty pods. I have another one of these in my drawer. I'm thinking about giving this one away. So if you think I should give it away, I think I might give it away on my blog because I've already got one that's not even open. So yeah, I'm, I might do a little giveaway. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, this is a beauty pod. It gives your makeup a flawless finish. So I was given that. So thank you to that person. Um, where else did we go? Oh, I wanted something for my eyebrows. Um, something that, because I've got really light skin, like really light hair. You can probably tell from my regrowth right now. Um, it's like coming through tremendously. And I'm a natural blonde. And people are like, oh, keep your blonde hair. But I'm not going to. Anyways, um, I got this from TK's Eyebrow Extender in Cappuccino Brown. And I've actually got the box, but it just comes in this little cylinder sort of thing. And I've got it on my brows today, and it looks absolutely stunning, if I do say so myself. But the eyebrow, I really needed an eyebrow thing, because I was going to get an eyebrow pencil from um, Inglot and, or MAC, but they were just ugh, hectic, and I couldn't be bothered. So I saw this stand and I thought they only did eyelashes, but apparently they do um, eyebrows as well. So I got this um, I TK's brow extender and yeah, so that's the box. And it just gives your um, eyebrows a really nice natural appearance without making them look too overdone. And when she put them on, I was like, oh wow, I have to buy it. So that was can't quite remember because it was so long ago. I think that was $49, maybe $50. Um, but yeah, well worth the money. But this huge ass box for these like little ass bottle of, for, I don't know, like particles of something that go on your eyebrows. But I use that every day and I love it. Um, what else do we have in here? I think these are all just like pamphlets and discount codes and shit that I accumulated over the thing. I got 15% off Inglot. Oh, last but not least item that I bought. So, I went to Inglot after a lot of stress and ugh, there were so many girls there that were pushing in and wouldn't get out of my road. But I finally got in there and struggled, but I got in there and I got myself a 10 eyeshadow palette, Inglot eyeshadow palette. Don't ask me what the names are because I don't know and I'm not taking them out. So, there. <laughs> but I used the greens today to create the look that I'm wearing. The green and the gold and the black. The four up the top there I used and the neutral colour down the bottom. But I just got some purples and I got some neutrals and I got some greens. And yeah, this cost me $85, but well, well worth it. And yeah, so that's the Freedom System palette. But if you haven't tried a Freedom System palette from Inglot or tried any eyeshadows from Inglot, you're totally missing out because they are super duper pigmented and they're well worth the money. They were Apparently they're just like MAC eyeshadows until they started doing something different but yeah absolutely love it and i'm so pleased i bought i extended my inglot buying so yeah yay for that and then the magnetic lids just slip on like freaking super glue so yeah yay for that so that is my eye mats haul i didn't buy all that much really um, not many of us did. It was a little bit disappointing. Um, some of the stands weren't there. I was really, really disappointed. Um, Napoleon Purdis wasn't even there. I was like, where's Napoleon? I need some Napoleon in my life. But he wasn't even there and I really wanted to buy some more lip shines and just some blushes and stuff at a discounted price. But unfortunately he wasn't there. Um, so yeah, and NYX did not turn up, 
and that really sucked. But um, the company, like the brand that really stood out the most, was Naked Cosmetics. I really love Naked Cosmetics. I believe their pigments are pigments are freaking spectacular. I would really love it if they came out with some other different things like lip products. I know you can mix your own lip products, but products that are already mixed. I don't know what I do. I don't think they do. Don't know. Or some blushes or something like that. But yeah, I really enjoyed Ingot except for the madness and I met Amy Sass 7. Okay, so onto the people that I actually met. I met so many amazing, amazing girls. I didn't get photos with everyone because it was just so overwhelming and there were people left, right, center like, oh, hi Stevie and all this stuff. And it was like, oh my god is this really happening and it was spectacular it was so awesome meeting every single one of you i had so much fun i got a photo with reese um i don't know if she has a blog i need to ask her whether she has a blog or what how she's become to this beauty community <laughs> but she's a lovely girl reese and i saw angela from beauty blogged um anita from um, Pink Dynamite, she's changed her YouTube username and her blog name, but she's beautiful. Um, I saw Geordie from, um, Geordie, you know Geordie? <laughs> um, I saw everyone. I saw Amy Sass 7 working at the Inglot stand, and she was in her element selling her favorite products to us um i unfortunately didn't get a photo with her i was so upset that i didn't get a photo but next year i will if i have if i tr drag her away but i've got a photo of her working so that's good um i went with my mom and my sister and louise we had a marvelous time um yeah we bought so much stuff and just hung out and yeah i met um, I met Beauty by Brittany X and Shell Barbie. They are friggin' hilarious. I met Jess from Nico Anethyst and I met Rosie um, from, oh, I can't remember her YouTube username, but it's something weird. Um, oh, I met everyone. I was so crazy. I met Ash from Ash for make for beauty or something ash for makeup i'm so on the back burner with beauty channels at the moment it's so i think i saw um just sugar and spice there she was so stunning she was like a goddess to the beauty community like beauty world she was beautiful i probably forgot oh glam fashion 101 or something she is absolutely absolutely beautiful and it was lovely to meet you if you're watching um but yeah I'm going to have photos at the end. I've rambled so much in this video and yeah, I think I should go. Until next time, I will see you in my next video. I don't know what that will be. Please send requests down below. I always say that. Um, but check out my blog. I'm in the mix of adding this I'm at Sydney blog post and photos. I'm just up to the photos. It just takes forever to upload. And yeah. Please remember to thumbs up this video and to, because it would help me out tremendously, I would absolutely appreciate it if you did thumbs up. And if you um, see that button up there that says subscribe, if you press that, that would be friggin' amazing. So until next time everyone, I will see you in my next video and I don't know, stay cool, hey? Okay? Bye guys, see ya!